welcome back to day 13 of 31 days of prayer for favor thank you so much for everybody who has been on this journey for me with me rather i have committed to coming on live every morning for 31 consecutive days throughout the month of december as we pray and ask the lord to release his favor upon our lives so for those of you who are just joining for the first time or just seeing this for the first time thank you so much and welcome good morning and welcome back, Kimberly. Today's thir uh, day 13. We started on December 1st. We will end December 31st. And the way this works is that I find a scripture or scriptures from the Bible each and every day. And we pray and we ask God, we come together and we ask God to release his favor upon our lives. And as we go into 2024, I'm believing that I will continue to hear testimonies of how God showed up and showed out on our behalf, how he turned situations and circumstances around, how we have gone places and we have received preferential treatment, uncommon, unprecedented favor, both with people that we know and with strangers. All right. And so today is um, day 13. Our scripture for today is Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. I have selected four translations this morning that I'm going to read to you, and then we will pray. All right. So here we go. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. I'm going to start with the King James. Ah, I got to get the size right. All right. And it says, King James, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. All right, here we go. Uh, I think this is KJ 21. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor. Is this identical? I think I might have copied in the wrong thing. This looks identical. All right. Yeah, it is identical. Let me skip down to the GW. Foreigners will rebuild your walls and their kings will serve you. In my anger, I struck you, but in my favor, I have compassion on you. And here's the GNT. The Lord says to Jerusalem, foreigners will rebuild your walls and their kings will serve you. In my anger, I punished you, but now I will show you my favor and mercy. Amen and amen. So that's our prayer point for today, that God will show us um, favor, that he will have mercy on us. And here's what I'm, and this says here in the King James, and the sons of strangers shall build up your walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. So I'm going to pray that as the, that the Lord would cause stranger, strangers and sons of strangers to show us favor and that they will be a blessing to us. They will have a desire to bless us, assist us any way they can, that they will be able to step in and help us out. All right. And um, yeah, now I'm sorry. I think I just, I copied in one of the wrong translations because I like to give you guys the different language. Um, that the different translations use, but let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you so much for allowing us to gather once again, Lord. I thank you for each and every person and their households that are represented on here. Father, those that are with me live and those that will watch the replay. Lord, I thank you for blessing us and keeping your hand upon us, Lord God. Father, I thank you and I pray this morning that you will release and unleash a mantle and an anointing for favor upon our lives, God. Just as it says here in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I have had, have had mercy on thee. Father, I pray that you will show each and every one of us mercy. Have mercy on us, O God. Be kind to us. Grant us your favor, O Lord. I pray that you will cause strangers and the sons of strangers to bless us, assist us, mentor us, teach us, so into us, Lord God. Whenever we need a helping hand, cause strangers to show up on the scene and bless us, O God. Oh God, may we all 
always have favor with them, Lord. Father, we thank you that from this day forward, we will experience the greatness, favor, and mercy upon our lives. Lord, I pray that you will release the anointing for favor that rested upon Esther's life, that everywhere she went, she found favor with all who saw her, Lord God. I pray for a lifetime of favor, not just 31 days of favor, Lord, but Father, I pray that from this day going forward, as long as we walk on this earth, that we will experience your favor, Lord God. And Father, I declare this morning that this is our set time for favor. It is our time to shine and it is our time to experience the favor of the Lord. So Father, we thank you for your kindness and may we experience an overflowing and abundance and avalanche of favor in our lifetime, Lord God. Father, and we will be kind to people. We will sow into people when possible, Lord God. It will be reciprocal. We will not hoard your blessings and keep them just for ourselves, but God, we will be a good representation of your love and your kindness in the earth. So Father, we thank you in advance. God, I can't wait to hear more testimonies of how you have released your favor and how people have just blessed us and have shown us unprecedented favor that they do things for us that they don't normally do for people on a regular basis, Lord God, but that there is something about us, that your hand is upon us, your face and your grace, your mercy is upon us, Lord God, that our lights will shine, that people will just release their favor on us, God. So Father, we thank you in advance. And I thank you once again for the opportunity to gather with your people, Lord. I don't take it for granted. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So I just pray that God will bless each and every one of us. You know, I'm, I really, yeah, like I've had a couple of testimonies come in and I love it. I love it. For those people who don't have faith, who don't believe, prayer works. Prayer changes things. God he hears the prayers of his people, right? And so we just believe in advance that we are going to walk in unprecedented, uncommon favor with God and with man. Because when God wants to bless us, oftentimes he does it through people. So let us not make the mistake of saying that we don't need people. We need people, you know, and I want people, I want people around me who are willing to help, you know. So there you have it, family. Today is day 13. Our scripture for today was Isaiah chapter 6. Where is it? Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. All right. So you will have a wonderful day. We will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thankful Thursday. And we'll, we will be back for day 14 of 31 days of prayer for favor. Expect favor everywhere you go. I tell you, I still continue. When I go outside and I'm with the public and I'm in different places, I expect it. Is I sow a smile. I'm kind. I speak to people. I expect favor to show up. All right. So expect favor in your day today. And I also am praying for miracle signs and wonders to show up in your day today. How about that? All right. You all have a wonderful day and um, expect favor. All right. Bye. Bye, Kimberly. Bye, everybody.